Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on FTB Skies. How are you guys doing? Now, I have been building a little bit here on today uh, over the Easter holidays, but I, well, I, I didn't play that much. That's why this video is probably a little bit late, so sorry for that. But nonetheless, it will be here today. And when it's today, it's probably when you're watching this video, hopefully, if you follow me. Well, let's get started. Now, I know I said I wanted to start with industrial foregoing at latex, and maybe we can get to do that just in a bit. But as you can see, I've expanded over this way as well. And if the shapes of this thing tells you anything, we're going to be working with bees today. Now I went ahead and made this enclosed room, I made this uh, with a little bit of a patch of grass and this wall will go down, as you can see I made connections, I want to have like a lot of bees here, a lot of bees here, a lot of bees here and have them all interconnected with a door in case there's some that actually fly around, which I think there will be, so I don't want the mic to escape. <laughs> Uh, but these rooms are still under development, uh, mainly because uh, sometimes I get tired of cont continuously just crafting things and I just want to start building. So let's get on with this today. Now, as you can see, I've done nothing, so I'll have to do everything from the get go. The first step is making a beehive. Now, the beehive should be easy. Uh, oh, we have beehives. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, bee spawn egg, glass bottle. That's cool. Okay, but now we're going to be needing honey comb to get honey treats and some more experience. Now, I do not believe we have any honey. Okay, we actually do. This is going faster. Ah, I didn't think this would go that fast, but I don't know. I don't know. I think we just got these from other quests. That's why we have these resources, by the way. Uh, I think we'll start like coming to a stop at this point right now. So first of all, we need to make an advanced beehive. So if we take another look at the beehives, you have the normal beehive and you have, for example, an oak advanced beehive. Now I want to go for uh, maybe spruce beehives, maybe? Uh, no, I think I'll go for oak. Yeah, which means I'll probably have to find a way to farm oak. Now, we do have the honey. Uh, we do need a campfire. It can be a soul campfire. And then we need some shears. We have some shears. And boom, we have an advanced oak beehive. That's actually pretty cool. You know, and we got an appetite bee. Because who doesn't want an appetite bee? Uh, if we have honey bottles... I don't think we do. No, we don't. So we cannot make that quest right away as well. Now we got a normal bee have bee egg. We got an appetite bee. We also have a couple extra bees over there from the loopies. So maybe we go. We're gonna go and grab those when we need them. So well, I I have the bees here, uh, but they're gone. I, I I see two bees here floating down to the void. So we may beat them i don't know what happened here well we, we got these two so if we oh okay she immediately went into there and she also immediately went into there now can i like remove them i mean it's nighttime so maybe they're staying inside because of that uh let me actually get a little bit of bone meal just i think just one should do and just maybe Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more than one because I want some flowers here. Yeah, perfect. Now with some flowers here, they should fertilize themselves there, I think. Aha, as you can see, we have already here our amazing appetite bee, though the other bee is still not doing anything. Now, let's just take a quick look at the appetite B, because if we press the U button on the appetite B, we can see that in order for it to fertilize, well, it actually needs a block of appetite. So, if we just go over here and we type appetite, we can just pull out a block. And let's put it, I don't know, here. Yeah, now the server is a little bit lagged today. Uh, for some reason, as you can see, like the bee is like a little bit wobbly <laughs> in how she's moving. And let me actually get some lead, lead or lead. 
And let's put you over this way. Yeah, because I believe she was not recognizing the block. Now she is recognizing the block and she should go and, well, fertilize itself. Now the other one is still inside. I really don't know why. Now, but fear not, we also have some extra bees, as you guys can see. And I picked up die bees. Now, I, I, I need a couple of dies for my base. So these guys hopefully will be very, very handy to me. Now, they fertilize in pretty much any flower. Uh, I just don't know what do they give as a product. Brings home more flowery bits than just nectar. So do they like farm flowers that i put in here maybe maybe they do so for example if i place down a corn flower would they actually farm corn flower and bring a corn flower here well maybe now the appetite bee boom as you can see it already came came in now i don't know if how, she has a high productivity and we also need to supply this with glass bottles i you know forget about that yep and this guy will work on its own as soon as the bees have something well to to be extracted it will extract the honeys and all those things right out of there so this is why an advanced beehive is always better than normal beehive we do have the uh, oak ex expansion box so let's just go ahead and boom place it on over here which now holds up to five bees and now can actually be upgraded so this is pretty cool now we do have well a couple of uh-oh uh-oh uh i did not want to do that um uh hold on i have another alternative oh no they can open the doors they're learning but I want to I want to switch to this one is are you still angry at me no oh she's gonna die I think because she hit me I want to bring them inside oh no this is going this is going so wrong okay I was actually able to save the bees so I think everything will be fine now one of the missions that we have right now is to well make more bees so I'll feed you this and I'll feed you that and you guys do nothing okay so i believe it actually needs to be like the same b yeah okay so these two will hopefully make a b baby yay we have another baby that's so cool and of course we got a beekeeper's hood and we got a neon cuckoo bee whatever that is now there's a bunch of bees here that are actually very very helpful if you just want to use bees for pretty much everything in the game now those bees are productive bees now they come in probably these ones are the basic honeys uh the not the basic honeys the basic nests i'm sorry uh and you got like productive bees you got farmer bees uh, you got like a couple of bees that actually farm things on their own and that's like pretty pretty cool uh, exactly as you can say here while well, others will perform tasks so more because of the big book of the bees so if you want to read that of course you can read that and yeah quarry and lumber bees work as perpetual resource generators for stone and wood style blocks now if i can get one of these bees to give me stone that would be amazing if i get one another one to give me oak that would be amazing because i'm farming spruce already i'm farming cobblestone i just need stone and cobblestone now we have a collector we have a farmer's bees so let's just say yes and collect all of this now of course they will all need a home so i'll probably need to make a bunch of these uh, beehives and oh we have some appetite comms yes now of course after this uh, this is one of the reasons why you kind of need to and move forward and i have uh, like a uh, uh, some some questions of how i can do things you see we, we can have wax and wax can serve can serve as a fuel source now on its own it's not really that great so i probably don't even want to deal with the wax uh so what i'll probably end up doing is using my create boiler to pump out some resources for me so i'll have to set up a bunch of these mixers with a bunch of blaze burners 
just them all just firing up and then producing me some honey and producing me well a bunch of other resources because all these bees give a ton and ton of resources of course this is probably not gonna happen today because today we're trying to get to some very cool bees now of course we got to start off with the centrifuge because i'm also want to of course i want to also complete the the book and we need some zombie comms are unique in that they can't be bred to attract on place advanced beehives in complete darkness and they will arrive in time now luckily for me we, we i think i do have some bees no oh i don't i have an ancient bee which i believe is for ancient debris we have a sponge bee, a crystalline, a zinc, fire, a bumblebee. So I don't have a skeletal bee? I thought I have one. I may I maybe left those in the nether chests. Okay. Ah, uh, so I, I might just hop over there to get them. Well, while we wait for a zombie to spawn, let's go ahead and make a centrifuge. And here we go, we got it, and we're gonna be placing these like in the corners of this room. And what else can we do? We can do what's all the buzz about. It gives to ashy mining bees. Okay. Why not burn some for power? Oh, okay, I see what this is for. Yeah, I see what that's for. But let's collect these resources and we can do an industrial hive mine. Once you have the power of power. You can use it uh, on the powered centrifuge to make more quick process of your comps. Oh, okay. So we could just do this one instead. So we can immediately upgrade this one. Just like so, we do a powered centrifuge. Perfect. That's nice. So it's basically going to be a lot faster, like doing things around here. On to the next step we go. We got these and we can make a bee incubator now this will hopefully grow bees so faster sorry <laughs> not sooner faster yeah it will grow bees faster then we have a gen indexer and we have the bottler now i've got a decent idea of how these guys work at the moment and we can give this uh these upgrades which i really want to like get bunch of these upgrades going so i may just want to rearrange this and as you can see it's actually producing some dye because the developer well, their, their only flower is this orange tulip so i kind of want gray dye i need a bunch of gray dye i need a bunch of cyan dye so is there a flower for example that gives me cyan dye uh there is there's a cyan rose so if they can feed on this thing spawns in all biomes so i'll probably have to spawns alone in biome categories forest plains taiga extreme hill so i'll try and get one of these somehow uh and i don't think there's another version i mean we can just do corn flower and any green one no no not really oh that's kind of sad but yeah i'm gonna make a bunch of these oak ones especially using this we can now just start making some beehives or i should say advanced beehives because of course these guys take in some honey like so and they take regular beehives there we go that's another one so we got two more so we can just place here and here and then we can have one expansion box and boom this now holds five bees this one holds three and i believe we can just pipe out the things this is where my amazing base is going to come in really handy uh it's because i'm i'm already thinking ahead uh for this and i may just want a pressure plate there actually uh because I, even though i'm making like these hallways i am already expecting to have things running underneath that's why these things are a little bit wide so i still have space to build some tubes and all those things especially from the computer and i'll probably have like importers or even have like an underground area here 
uh i got another guard room like i have for create exactly like that one that would have that will be collecting the resources for most of the bees and i'm i'm, I'm still undecided if i want to close the bees off um that makes sense like if i want to like cage them or if i just want like do exactly like this spread around the blocks have the beehives placed somewhere and have them like being and doing their own thing what do you guys think it's the best way should i just close them off somewhere and have like a particular room for them or should i just like let them roam free of course i want to open up these hallways uh into being connected into all these rooms so they may end up flying into different rooms but i don't think that's that big of an issue because they're very specific to what they want to farm like the appetite bee will be looking well for appetite blocks and the quartz for quartz the ghostly for soul sand so they're specific to which type of block they can farm so there's never the issue of them ending up where they shouldn't end up because they'll always try and go for these blocks now is there a bee? Oh yeah, there's, there's bees in my head. Now, one of the quests now is actually get our hands in some nests, as you guys can see, and I'm going to use them to my advantage. Now, if you pick up the honey trees that you got from the quests and you put them on the nests, uh, after some time, they're meant to attract some bees. So let's let's test that out, shall we? So if we pause put this here this nest is empty use a honey treat on it to attract a bee and this is hopefully going to be very very handy so if you take a look at the honey treats we got quite a few of them so we just right click on them and oh we can use additional treats to speed up the process okay it doesn't actually speed up that much so i'm not i'm just going to save these ones for now that one is done so eventually they will give us something now we gotta do another nest uh, uh we are we have a bunch of options uh the one that i feel like i would need the most is maybe this one the nether brick nest that might be a cool one uh oh yes this one of course the oak nest i, I want that one so if we take a look at oak nest this one we we need this one asap because i really like the default look of the oak one this one so i'm just gonna place this here and probably pick up the treats we can just save this thing right here so treats just like so pick them up and just right click a couple of times here and in a little bit we should have an oak hopefully an oak bee and we already we already have a honey bottle this is something we needed for the quests gives us a cookie and a sturdy bee casing we got this one it gives us a mason bee and a lumber bee now i wonder if the lumber bee actually chops off <laughs> a tree if that makes sense uh we also need uh maybe a slimy nest that'll be cool uh though i don't think we really need that thing but we need for the mission and we're going to need some ghostly comb and some magmatic comb now which is the bee that gives us magmatics the magmatic bee and how do i get a magmatic bee <laughs> probably from the nether brick attracts magmatic bees yep it's the nether brick one perfect well, I've been waiting on, on on these guys to actually produce me some honey so then I can then get a, a bucket of honey so I can do the honey generator and then we can continue forward. And another one of the missions is getting myself an enderman head. Now, using an endstone nest, you can attack otherworldly bees that can produce things like enderpearls, but they need an enderman head as their flowering block now nenderman head can be made with a player head which can be made with well petals for some reason yeah uh we can do pink petals or light blue petals uh and we can get someone's head which hopefully can then be turned into the enderman head i hope so well, I got Mr. Zaytharan's head and we get an Enderman head.
Now that was actually kind of easy. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. I also swapped this for buttons. That means only I can truly open that. And I guess we can place it here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's actually so cool. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. And I have a bunch of these hives, so they're some are still like giving me a beat. Some others, I don't even know what they're doing. And I put on some more flowers so that they can farm us a little bit different dyes. And how much honey do we have? We still need more. Oh, okay, I should have read the, the book because uh, now I have a runaway bee. Uh, which hopefully I can still save. Where are you? You're, you're there. Don't go into the void. Don't kill yourself. You're worth it. No, don't jump. Okay. Okay. Now, basically, that's the Ender Bee. The Ender Bee will teleport. Oh, that looks cool, by the way. Uh, will teleport out of where you have them. So we, we, we need a fix for that. And the fix is this, this upgrade. It's called the simulator. Uh, now this uh, actually locks the bee inside and it simulates. You see, it just tried to teleport away. Uh, and it simulates the going out to get, well, honey. So hopefully if we do this and we just close this, and I really just needed to enter a hive. Enter any hive you want. This one, for example. Come on, go in. Because if it goes in... Come on, go inside. There's plenty of space for you. Go inside. She goes inside. I'll just put this in there. And then, boom. She never runs away. Oh yeah, she needs to pollinate first. And there she goes. She's now stuck inside of here and she pollinated. And something we could do is we can actually do this here. I don't know if the top part needs to be affected as well. But this should hopefully make them work a lot faster. Uh, it was working on like regular uh, honey areas. So we can actually just remove this from here and give it here. Yeah, so that they move faster. I don't know how this works. Hopefully everything is properly set up. I think we just got lucky over here because I do see if you guys can see, I see a little bit of a dot. That's a zombie. Yep, we got a zombie. Now, why are you not going inside? Go inside, little man. Yeah, man, just, just, just hop on. Nope, not outside. <laughs> don't come outside. No, no, let yourself stay in there. Hop into the beehive. Come on, bro. You got it. I don't know what he actually uses to fertilize itself. Uh, let's take a look. The zombie it looks so funny, by the way. Uh, he uses... Oh, he still uses flowers. Okay. So what we can do is just get ourselves a bee cage. And did he go inside? Okay, no, he hasn't. He's still there. Get ourselves a bee cage, pick you up, and boom, we got them. You can break all of this, and we have them inside this. Now, one of the reasons this is good, and the bee cages are really, really helpful, is this guy, you see? Because since he has a simulator, the only way to actually give you the bee is like this. Just put it over there, and boom. Now we have a zombie, and it's gonna stay inside of there. And we got some more quests to collect. Gave us another mason bee. I think it was one some somewhere flying around, or maybe just entered somewhere. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I think I think it just she just entered one of these nests because um, it shouldn't. We have a chocolate mining bee, crystalline. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Another chocolate, nothing. Carpenter, chocolate, <laughs> mason bee. Okay, we got a mason bee there. Okay, that's probably the one we just spawned in. Then we got another one, which you can just put it over here. Hopefully she goes into one of these because these ones are better than the others. But sure, she decides where she wants to go. And now we need is an ender comb. 
the ender bee attracted to the endstone hives produces ender pearls the only problem however is that they keep teleporting out of the rooms okay we have the simulator so they're not going anywhere this is good oh there's also this one the anti-teleportation that's also really cool <laughs> that's also that's probably also something that we should we should have seen uh before now we can also use bees to farm iron you guys can see here then we have tin and copper it can also do ones to farm glowing combs so we need a glowing bee which i have no idea how i can get my hands on a glowing bee it can be from glowstone nests okay that makes sense then we need a redstone one which means we need a redstone bee and the redstone bee is actually by breeding a chocolate with a glowing bee then we get a redstone and then we need a lapis one which we'll only need to do redstone plus blue banded it's a solitary that can be found in forests uh look up the recipe well i'm trying to look up the recipe and i can't see nothing but i'm guessing it's it's probably one of these guys that actually give me the the bee as well now i've mixed a crystalline with a chocolate and we got a chocolate i don't think that's the one i was looking for <laughs> uh no i was trying to get myself uh hands on oh no it's the ender bee oh Oh, that's gonna be tricky because she's stuck inside. Uh oh. Okay. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky. Yep. Uh, also, another one we could do is probably, yeah, a crystalline with an ashy mining, which ashy. Uh, wait, what? Mining. What? Where did I place those bees? Collector, bubble bees, farmer bees, spirit, lumber, ancient, ghostly. Okay, what the hell did I do to the ashy bees? Did I place them somewhere? N no, I, I didn't. Okay, hold on. I, I'm pretty sure we just had them, right? Found them. Yep, found them. Uh, now everybody is inside though for some reason uh oh i think i know what's the reason it's it's raining yeah you can't see it but it it, it it is raining okay that's that's one of the issues with bees uh, is that they of course don't like the rain so they go inside even though well it's technically not raining here so that's no reason for them to stay in home that's all right so all that we need is an ashy bee let me just see the recipe again so it's an ashy bee and a crystalline bee so if we're lucky to have a crystalline bee laying around which we do we can just do this we can go over here like this one like it's this one and we make them do babies now it's a little bit laggy <laughs> but they should make me a tin B. I wanted an iron one. Okay. Uh, you probably have like cooldown. Yeah, breeding cooldown 300 seconds. Okay, so we gotta wait. And now, guys, the bees are actually taking quite a little bit of time to do their things, mainly because the server is a little bit laggy. I think bear did something that he shouldn't uh <laughs> not nah, just kidding uh it's probably just some issue at the moment but it's not that bad so the bees are actually a little bit slower so that's all that i'm gonna have for today because i want to keep building this uh before it gets snowed up like it just did uh and i want to automate some things now automation will take a little bit of time because i need to craft a lot of these uh advanced beehives i'm on like 50 or something of these because there's like so many bees in the game and uh, then we have to probably have a proper room for these guys to work on so there's a lot to do and a lot of grinding and grinding is a little bit boring so i'll just do it off camera <laughs> but still hopefully this was helpful for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next one bye